Today we are converting this large spool into two coffee tables. Now this spool was actually used for a wedding and we don't have any weddings coming up so we're going to convert it over. But each spool, no matter what size, had the long bolts running all the way through it to the other side. So get somebody on the other side to hold that in and then get started unscrewing this. All right, our spool is separated now. Now we have two separate pieces. Of course, you have these pieces in the middle. I guess if you got creative, you could do something with that. And of course, you still have your rods. But also note that you have these that come out of this area right here that we will take and actually uh, put some adhesive down here and actually put them back on because they actually look really cool after you've sanded this down. It goes really well with it. So now you could do yours however you want to. You could leave it as is or paint it or do whatever. These are kind of rough, so we're choosing to sand them down. Uh, and we're using 60 grit to start with, and then we'll move up from there. But obviously it's your choice. Be as creative, use whichever side you want, and be as creative as you want. So we got our top sanded and we decided to go ahead and put our legs on. Now there's a hundred different ways you can do this, but what we decided to do since our table was about 54 inches across, we decided to go with four foot across um, and we're just using cheap two by four pine, uh, which right now is about seven, eight dollars for an eight foot uh, piece of it. And we used three eight foot two by fours in our project here, but obviously you can do it a hundred different ways. We want 48 across, so what we did was a 45 inch long board like this because these are an inch and a half, and so we have 48 inches total all the way across. We anchored this one to the actual table with two and a half inch screws. We used two and a half inch screws everywhere. Uh, as you can see, we anchored these down as well. And then we wanted this to be 48, obviously, but this one's going all the way across. So we cut some shorter pieces so that our total across there, legs and all, is 48 inches. Our legs are about 16 inches tall because um, our table is about two inches thick and that makes it about 18 inches, which is pretty typical for a coffee table. And so that's our legs. We've got about $24 plus some screws in our legs. We actually got this for free, so we're still under $30 on this big, huge coffee table right now. And we also put some wood putty in our screw holes and sanded those down. We got a little bit more sanding to do on this, but next step up is we're going to paint the legs. And then we're going to flip it over and we're going to wax the top. So we decided to paint the legs a darker color and so we called in the professional painters here and we actually had that paint already on hand and so we thought well let's just do that because we don't have to buy anything else we recently did another one that we did white legs and it looks really good uh, but obviously this is cool because you can do whatever you want you may not want to paint them at all you just really like the look of bare wood you may want to stain it uh, to match a top or something like that, but we've opted for the darker color, but obviously this is one of the fun parts. So while we're waiting on the paint to dry, we're gonna get those little metal pieces that we put aside whenever we first started. And we're putting some adhesive. I guess any adhesive will really work because it's not like these are gonna be moved a lot. And carefully put it on there. Now you could obviously wash these down or you can sand them down to make them look real shiny if you want to, but we really kind of like the uh, rustic look. Once you have your adhesive on, just take it, drop it in the hole and uh, let it dry. So our legs are still drying. They're almost dry, but they're still drying and it's looking pretty good. We've sanded the top again. We've cleaned the top off really good so that we removed any dust, any particles. Now we have decided, I mean, you could stain this, you could paint this, you can leave it the way it is. It kind of looks cool. But we really like to, uh, the, the look that it gives when you wax something. And so our local hardware store sells this. It smells so amazing. 
orange oil, honey. And so you just simply squirt it into the rag and then just start wiping it down. Let it dry for about 20 minutes and then come back and polish it just like you would anything else that you wax. So let's jump in and get that going. All right, thanks to these guys and all their hard work, we actually got it done. And it, here it is in what we call the cafe area of our church that we're actually redoing, but that table is kind of gonna be the centerpiece of it all. Let me show you a closer look. All right, so that wax looks really good. It's not completely dry yet, but uh, obviously you can tell what it's gonna look like. Those dark legs look good in here. Obviously it's white, whatever color, even nothing at all would look really cool. Very solid, like I said, we have about $30 in that total. Maybe a little over, but that's really inexpensive for a table that big. 54 inches across and uh, 18 inches high. And it's very heavy, so good job to the workers. Good job, good job, way to go. All the hard work that you did, it paid off, great job. Make sure to subscribe to our channel if you wanna see more little simple DIY projects. Thanks guys.